Welcome back to the big board. We're playing the first turn, in fact, uh, just wrapping up the first turn of Aspen Essling under the uh, JDG, JDG system from v Victus or Vi Victus. Uh, interesting couple of little things. The uh, these orders issued counters. I can see these here. These guys. Uh, there don't seem to be enough of them on the counter sheet to provide enough orders for all of the French and all of the uh, allied uh, Austrian forces uh, because Charles can take two and Lanes and Messina can take two and Napoleon has one as well and there are only I think five chits for that three four yeah, there's only five chits, which is a little confusing. I'm not quite sure how that works. So I, I'm, you're supposed to put them, flip them over, and put them underneath, or next to, or underneath a, a leader. And then when it's time to, you know, do your deal, you flip it over and go, ha ha, I have orders. It would seem to me that it wouldn't be, oh, well, they all have the same on the back. Okay, that's clever. Good. All right. So anyway, that's one thing. So I'm just going to use blocks uh, to denote those who have orders and those that don't. The other thing was, so what am I doing here? Let's talk about the gameplay so far. So these forces all came in as reinforcements, uh, which, or reinforcement mode. It's a little bit dark in here. Uh, I have some issues with my lighting at the moment. So I apologize for that. But you can see here, uh, that's uh, reinforcements. We're in reinforcement mode, and uh, a bit given task group or, or formation that's within two hexes of each other can double their movement. But once they be get within five, become f just five hexes away from an enemy unit, they have to cease their reinforcement movement. So uh, the lanes uh, sent these three units forward uh, to end reinforcement movement or in this forced march concept uh, it's not forced march actually it's reinforcement movement uh, sooner rather than later so that it'll take a little bit longer for the the units to advance they won't get up to here by the beginning of the next turn I'm just thinking that might buy the French a little bit of time because time is what they need right and so you know this turn obviously we'll try and move these back uh, the the I'm assuming that we'll be able to have initiative and do that first turn. Otherwise, they may end up uh, being surrounded if uh, and in a lot of trouble if the Austrians do, in fact, uh, pick up the um, pick up the initiative in the first turn in the second turn. All right, so that's the first turn done. Uh, really, wasn't very painful. Uh, nothing really happened. We just moved a few guys. We'll see what happens when we get down to some serious combat. In fact, I'll probably just move uh, a few, uh, a couple of turns, and then we'll kind of catch up once something uh, of more uh, interest arises. And we'll talk about anything that comes up, if it pops up, that's uh, noteworthy.